blessed month of Ramadan teaches us to feel the pain of the less fortunate, those who are deprived of what we are blessed with. And we see that in the blessed month of Ramadan, a lot of food is wasted, especially at the time of Zahur and Iftar. In our recent Ramadan training lectures, we emphasize the importance of storing the food at the iftar time, the food that is used at iftar time, the leftover should be stored and we should eat the same food at sahur time rather than wasting the food and throwing away the food. And also to pick up the small pieces, pieces of bread from the dining mat on the table. Rasulullah emphasized the importance of this in the beginning of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Respect food for it is a blessing from the heavens and the earth Respect the food, it is a blessing from the heavens and the earth and the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever picks up some food from the table left over or some food that has dropped from the table from the dining mat whoever picks it up and eats it is forgiven. Subhanallah. That person is forgiven and the forgiveness is guaranteed by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, the famous companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he once saw a piece of bread on the floor and he told his servant to pick it up. And at iftar time, he asked him, I told you to pick up the piece of bread, what did you do with it? He said, I ate it. He said, I free you. I give you freedom. He said, why? He said, because I heard the hadith of the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever picks up a piece of bread or any food from the table or from the dining mat and eats it is forgiven. So according to the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you are a forgiven man. And how can a person who is forgiven and whose forgiveness is guaranteed by the Prophet ﷺ, how can I have him as my servant? Hence why I have freed you. So, guaranteed acceptance and forgiveness is given by Rasulullah ﷺ for the one who picks up food from the table and eats it. There's another beautiful hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. People who pick up the food, pieces of bread from the table or food that has dropped, Allah Jalla makes their life easy for them. Allah gives them farahi, easy in their life. Subhanallah. Wealth will become easy for that person. He will not feel any obstacles in his business, in his job, in his trade. Allah makes wealth easy for him. His entire life becomes easy. One who makes a habit of picking up pieces of bread and he eats them. And then Rasulullah said, such a person will have intelligent children and his children will be protected from lack of intellect, from insanity. And then Rasulullah said, not only his children will be protected from lack of intellect, even his grandchildren will be protected from lack of intellect. Someone who makes a habit of just picking up pieces of bread. I just remember this after iftar, my little son Hanzala, he saw that there was some, some, some cake on the uh, on the dining mat and I said pick it up. So I ate a bit and I asked him to eat and I just remember that these are the Prophet So I thought I'd share this with you and these are the real Ramadan reminders for all of us. I hope you've been acting upon the previous lessons constantly thanking Allah. Oh Allah, we thank you that you blessed us with life in Ramadan. Remember the hadith of Talha bin Ubaidillah ta'ala anhu. The one who lives in Ramadan is given the great and respects it with ibadah, with Quran, is given the great, a greater maqam than a shaheed. And then I hope you've been thinking about uh, the food when someone was eating next to you. If a non-Muslim or a Muslim is eating next to you, what is the benefit of that? The benefit of that is if you are fasting and another person sits with you and eats until they finish eating, Allah appoints, Allah sends some angels and they will keep making du'as for you until the person finishes eating his food. And today's lesson we will act upon this inshallah. Sahri time and iftar time. Any food that is on our table, any pieces of bread, we will pick it up and we will eat it and we will have tawakkur, we will expect this from Allah Jalla wa'ala that Allah Jalla wa'ala will make our life easy for us. Allah Jalla wa'ala will forgive us. And Allah Jalla wa'ala, and there's another narration. Such a person who makes a habit of doing this, 
according to one narration, his children will be beautiful. Subhanallah. This is the simplicity of deen. This is how Rasulullah teaches us uh, sinful life. And no one, if you think people will insult you and humiliate you and think that you're a greedy person, why do you pick this up food? Why do you pick it up and eat it? Ignore people. We follow the footsteps of Rasulullah Sahaba alayhi wa ridwan. Awliya Allah. Like the sinful people from Kashmir. Naame mehal jawaare de te. Naam koi khatti khatti. Jo aya so mu mich paaya. Tadir ka bhi chatti. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Thank <laughs> you.